Operation RV Adventure and I cannot wait to start adventuring. We went up north for a little bit. We got a property up north that is a good camping spot and uh, we were getting a little bit cleaned up this weekend. We traveled with the dog. I am warming up my rig for really the first time um, this spring. So what I've done is I got my propane going, I got my slide out, I turned on the furnace, made sure it's working. I also have an electric, uh, portable electric heater to kind of help get it up to temperature. I set my uh, thermostat at about 68 degrees, which is pretty comfortable up here. Um, but anyway, I went through, I opened up absolutely all of my cabinet doors, and you're probably wondering why. The reason why I opened up all my cabinet doors is because when you go from extreme cold and warm it up for the first time and it hasn't done it slowly and it does it real quick, you end up with condensation on these RV cabinets. You end up with condensation on the walls, um, just everywhere. So I open them up. If you keep it closed, um, you'll end up with more. I open it up. I got my little... Um, damp damp red uh, containers all over the place and it'll help collect some of that uh, moisture that builds up. I am going to dust everything up and start bringing everything in that will not freeze. No perishables can go in, no canned goods, no, no food products, but the other things like linens that I've cleaned and, and stuff like that, I can most definitely restock into this RV. I want to get it ready for this next camping season. I think it is going to be an awesome season and we got a lot of fun stuff planned. <music> into the cupboards and cleaning my cupboards I realized that there were some very useful items that I wanted to share with you guys uh, when we're out camping a lot of times we're either boondocking or we have access to electricity when we're camping typically when we do have access to electricity we like to conserve on our propane usage if at all possible a couple of these great items that help us conserve on the propane usage. Um, and I like to bring out my new wave. 
induction cooktop. This is very low um, power usage, but at the same time, it uses only electricity. Um, I use this almost all the time. It's very fast, evenly, and um, I really, really enjoy it. And you can actually control um, your cooking levels with this. Um, so you can actually slow cook with this new wave. Um, I absolutely love it and it saves me time utilizing the propane uh, by cooking in the kitchen. Um, another thing that I like to do is um, utilize my um, hot pot. This is a Chefman teapot and um, I love it, it come, it's totally detachable, it has a base that plugs in, that she utilizes, it's very fast heating, very low energy consumption, um, and uh, you can heat your water for your coffee, tea, uh, you can actually, uh, it comes with a diffuser, uh, where you can put loose tea, fruits, vegetable, whatever you want flavored in, in there. Anyway, um, another useful thing for this is that if you don't have an induction cooktops where you can heat up soups and stuff like that, you can actually pour a can of soup into your teapot and actually heat it um, through this. It's very low energy consumption and again when we're hooked up to electricity or if I'm running the generator um, I like to use these two items because of their low energy consumption. Um, when we were um, but purchasing products for RV uh, we considered getting like a Mr. Coffee coffee pot uh, because we love to have our coffee first thing in the morning and um, however what I found is that we're drinking a couple cups of coffee and then getting outside the coffee pot turns off then we want some more coffee and it's cold so instead of heating that coffee up in our microwave which requires electricity what we do is we found a Melita um, pour over um, coffee pot and it's a stainless steel, very simple. You get a cone filter and you put your cone filter in there, you put your coffee in there and then you pour over your hot boiling water and you have hot coffee in here. It comes with a top that you screw over once you get your coffee in there, and it will literally keep your coffee hot all day long. We absolutely love the Melita um, and uh, coffee, pour over coffee, and not only that, um, you it, it's usable even when you do not have electricity. Um, what we do when we don't have electricity, we don't want to fire up the generator, and we ha do have our propane. We do fire up our stove, um, and I just have a regular standard um, teapot for that so that I can heat water and pour over on my coffee and I still have hot coffee. Um, I just thought I'd share these real quick with you. I'm going to put a link for the induction cooktop, the Chefman, and the Melita down below. Um, please uh, respond in the comments. Uh, what are some of those things that you stock into your rig that you utilize uh, when you go camping and you know do you, is it one of those things that helps with energy consumption or is it just a very useful item anyway put your tips and tricks down below as far as what you stock in your rig for your camping season one thing that i did do um 
last year is that I did get a full length mirror and I attached it. What I did is I got a door over hooks, just some really thin ones that I got at Walmart. I think they were only about $3. And to keep the um, mirror from sliding around, I used some 3M um, Velcro um, strips that um, are removable so that they don't damage the door but that has completely kept that mirror from sliding around and getting broken this way someone can be outside getting ready while somebody else is in the bathroom i was going to also double check with you guys this is my setup in my very big wardrobe that i have in this jaco um it it's sizable it's one big open space but what i did last year at a necessity is i got one of these just uh, rod hanger organizers um, to put my towels and my washcloths in and then i used some hangers to hang up or shower bags and then of course i have in the back like the life vest and um, other gear that we made and I hang those up but down here I have our beach towels our hammock and um, toilet paper and this is just one great big open space in this uh, rig and my thing idea is is that I would absolutely love to better organize this space in this closet and I was almost thinking about up through here up and around building in a frame and then putting some shelves in um, I am gonna talk to Sarge about doing that but um, has anybody done that in their rig, in their closet space? Because I'd like to keep at least half of my um, rod so that I can use this area to hang with and then that area in here as shelving. Um, does anybody have any plans? Maybe you can link your plans in the comments below or if you have any suggestions, uh, make a suggestion below uh, because I'm just really stumped. And this year I want to do something with this space um, to better organize it, but the walls are extremely thin thin and I really don't want to damage um, things but um, anyway thank you and if you could um, like subscribe and um, put on the dinghy bell or if you think anybody that can find this video as far as uh, getting ready for the camping season useful um, don't forget to um, share share it with them anyway uh, until our next adventure we will see you later <music>